Google Plus, profile or page? Today we are talking about Google Plus, my favorite. Uh, and we're going to talk about profiles or pages and this is a very special day because this is episode one of Hit The Mic TV. So if you're brand new to Hit The Mic TV, I'm Lee Stacey Harris. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is Hit The Mic TV. I'm just going to be answering your questions, uh, sharing tips, tutorials. This is one of the most common Google Plus questions I get, maybe second only to anything about Hangouts on Air. First, let's talk about profiles. <laughs> Put this in Facebook terms. On Facebook, it would also be called a profile. See, easy. Okay, so your profile is what you get when you sign up, just like with Facebook. So by default, when you sign up, you have a Google Plus profile. The benefits of a Google Plus profile are they're linked to your email address. So uh, if you use Gmail, you may often see little photos of the people who send you emails. That is a photo from their Google Plus profile. That's really cool because when you look at your profile, you'll see those su suggested contacts sort of in the corner. Uh, those are people who you've emailed with in the past. So it kind of pulls those uh, and your other contacts in and says, hey, do you want to connect with people on social? Uh, and it makes it really easy for people to connect with you. Also, this is where you can connect as you if your brand is maybe not under your own name. Google Plus profiles, very handy. Couple of cons to profiles though. Currently, it's very difficult but not impossible to schedule to your profile. Uh, you can use an app called Do Share, D O S H A R E, uh, which allows you to schedule, but it's it's buggy at best. Uh, but it works. Also, if you outsource any part of your social, uh, you would have to give the person managing your social media access to your Google account. So they would have to have your username and password for your Google account, which gives them access to your Gmail. Uh, if you're like me, your Google business apps or, or Google apps for work or whatever they're calling it these days, as well as anything you sign into using your Gmail, Google logins. You can use Hangouts, you can use communities, you can sync that profile uh, with your YouTube account. All of that still works with your profile. So let's talk about pages. Pages in Facebook terms are called pages. See, it's really easy, I told you. Also with pages, you can have a manager or other admins just like you would with your Facebook pro or your Facebook page. You can allow people to uh, manage your page without having access to your Google accounts, which is very helpful. Um, they would also be able to manage your YouTube account. So if you have somebody who uh, edits and uploads your videos, like a video editor or a VA or whoever you have doing that, uh, they can manage that stuff. The same is true for your Google page account. You can have it so they can they can uh, update posts, add photos, things like that. Circle people, connect, use the page. The other really cool thing is you can schedule as your page using Hootsuite, Sprout Social, uh, TweetDeck, any of the big guys, uh, Buffer App. You can use those to schedule content to your page. Also, your page can be in your business name, which for me is my name. I mean, there's a the at the beginning, but uh, it's still whatever that is you can use there. And here's something that's really cool and sep separates Google Plus pages from Facebook pages, which is you can actually engage in communities as your page. So you could theoretically completely run your Google Plus time out of a page. You can engage with communities, you can do hangouts, you can do hangouts on air, uh, you can connect it with your YouTube account, you can uh, post, you can circle people and they can circle you back. It's not just a one way connection like you have with a Facebook page. Uh, so really, theoretically, your Google Plus page is super powerful. It just takes an extra step when you're when you're logging in. So it's just a matter of what you're comfortable with dealing with. All right, so that is Google Plus profiles or pages. Now, do me a solid and you make the decision. What are you going to be using uh, a page or a profile? Also, if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and also be sure to subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss an episode of Hit The Mic TV. See you next time.